in this lesson, as I said in an earlier lesson, I want to talk about seafood. I'm doing this separately because I do seafood differently than I do my other minute meals. And that's because I want my seafood cooked fresh. I don't want to cook fish, a lot of fish, and then portion it down and store it in the freezer to be reheated later. I like my fish cooked fresh because I love fish. I grew up in New England where we had a lot of fish. Fish was something we ate often in our household. We would sometimes bring fish home that we caught ourselves and cook it for dinner. So I love seafood. I love fish. But it, I do it a little bit differently. I cook my fish fresh for each minute meal. And it doesn't slow down the minute meal because a little piece of fish, three to four ounces, cooks in about the same amount of time as it takes me to cook and heat up the vegetables in the microwave. So I just prepare the raw fish in advance and put it away for freezing and then thaw it for cooking. So I'm going to show you how I set up fish for freezing and then I'm going to cook a piece of fish and I'm going to show you some other seafood possibilities. So let's get into seafood. This is one of the types of fish that I like to buy. I buy this at Costco. It looks like salmon by the color, but it's not. It's actually farmed steelhead trout. This is the only farmed fish that I will eat. I've tried other types of farmed fish. They just don't have any flavor, but I really like the flavor of this steelhead trout. So this is what I'm gonna work with today. These are fresh fillets. This fish has the skin on. And for my minute meals, I wanna take this skin off. This is where a really good sharp knife comes in handy. You just work right along the skin. Okay. So there's the skin. Put that aside. You can save this for making fish stock. And there's a skinned piece of fish. Now to portion this, as I've mentioned in earlier videos, I like my protein portion to be about three ounces. I'm going to have to guess what I think is close to between three and four ounces. I'm going to say that about right there is a portion. I have my scale set up. Let's see what this is. 2.7, it's a bit shy, but that's okay. I can work with that. And then what I do is I actually write on my bag what the ounces are. 2.7 ounces because I've been in a program where I'm watching what I eat and counting calories. How I put this away is like I would at my other minute meal portions, put it in a little packet, but I'm not going to freeze it this way yet. I'm going to add some water to this. So now with my water in there, I can bring this up to my heat sealer and then seal that. And that I learned from people who fish is an excellent way to freeze a piece of fish. So there is all my fish, my portions ready to go into the freezer. Those two fillets cost me $14.47. I got 10 pieces of fish out of that. That's under $1.50 per serving. It's economical as well. Here's another seafood that I like to cook with. These are shrimp and they're individually frozen. I look for them in the package in the store in the freezer section. If the package says that they're flash frozen, a lot of times they're frozen at sea as soon as they're caught. So I know that they're fresh. And if I cut these bags the right size, I should get about four to a bag. I know four is about between three and four ounces. That's a tight fit, but it'll go in there. And there it is. A portion of shrimp. How I like to use these is I'll cook up three or four like this, and then I'll chop them up and put them into a salad. They cook in like 
two or three minutes. I have some time on this video, so I want to show you another seafood that I make as a protein portion or as a snack. There's a lot of different ways to use this. When I was a child, I had an uncle who worked as a biologist in Alaska, and his specialty was salmon. In fact, he was even in the National Geographic magazine one time. And one year, he sent us a box of homemade salmon jerky. And it took me many years, decades actually, to find a recipe to make this myself in a trailer park, in a mobile home, without a smoker. And I was able to do it, and it's the same flavor. So I wanna show you how I make salmon jerky. I have here what is very close to three pounds of wild-caught sockeye salmon that I bought at Costco. It's, it's fresh, not pre-frozen. I have to fillet this now, which I haven't done in a while, so this is going to take me a while to fillet this salmon. So there are my two pieces of sockeye salmon fillet. I didn't do too badly filleting those. I'm going to set those aside. And then to start making my marinade, what I have here is, this is one half cup of soy sauce. And this is two tablespoons packed of brown sugar, any color, dark brown, medium brown, light brown. This is golden. This is one quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. And this is something called liquid smoke. This is one teaspoon of liquid smoke. This is what it is, Wright's liquid smoke. I buy this in the grocery store on the same aisle where they have the marinades. I don't know where it might be in your store, if your store carries it. This is pretty cool stuff because what they do is they smoke wood inside of a, some sort of a vessel and then they just rinse it down, filter it. All it is is water and smoke. I want to just stir this just to dissolve that sugar. That's going to take a minute or two. Returning my attention back to my fish. What I want to do is cut these into strips. It's a little bit of work because I left the skin on. Because the skin is what's going to hold this together. And I want thin strips. skin hopefully will give you an idea of how thin I'm cutting these strips. So I have my fish all cut into strips now. I'm using a stainless steel bowl with a nice bottom on it because it holds it steady while I do this next step. Putting a plastic bag, this is a Ziploc bag, putting that in the bowl and putting all my strips in there and then pouring my marinade in there. All right. Haha. -ha. This part I really like because I know how this is going to taste. Now it's starting to remind me of my childhood memory of jerky. So what I'm going to do is let this sit now for if you want a really mild smoke flavor you can let it marinate for a little as little as say 15 minutes you can go for as long as an hour I prefer prefer a fairly strong flavor so I'm gonna go 45 minutes and every 10 minutes or so I'm gonna turn it over to make sure that it marinates evenly because all the marinade of course will settle to the bottom I put rubber gloves on because this marinade has a very strong aroma to it and my skin will absorb it I lined a couple of baking sheets with parchment paper. And now I'm going to lay these pieces on there without them touching each other. So there is my salmon strips now marinated and ready to go into the oven. I heated my oven to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 77 degrees Celsius. It's the lowest setting on my oven. If your oven will go down to 150 degrees you can use that just as well. I'm going to place these in the oven and then leave them until tomorrow. Okay, let's finish up by doing a seafood minute meal. I have here some mixed vegetables. 
and some mashed potatoes. I'm going to do these in the microwave. And then what I have here draining in the sink is some ling that I bought. This is New Zealand, I think, wild caught ling. This is a 3.0 ounce serving, which is right about where I like it. You're going to see how quickly you can put together a minute meal, even though you do the cooking. I've got a little skillet here heating on the stove. I'm going to put in just a few drops of olive oil and then put my fish in there. And then what I have here is a seasoning blend. I think this is Pappy's seasoning mix. I put very little on. You can buy these seasoning blends or you can mix your own. There's little recipes on the internet, things like pork rub, that sort of thing. I'm going to set a timer for three minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to put my vegetables in my microwave. My fish has been in there for a minute and a half. I'm going to turn this over. Season the other side as well. Again, very lightly, because this ling has a very light flavor to it. Put a lid on that, and by the time that's done, my vegetables will be done. So I have my mashed potatoes on that plate with a little bit of freshly ground black pepper on top, because I like that. And then there's my mixed vegetables. For this, I like butter buds. So I'm just going to sprinkle that lightly with some butter buds. No fat. And then my piece of fish. All done in about three minutes. So, what about our salmon jerky? Well, here it is the following morning. And here is my salmon jerky. I turned the heat off on the oven before I went to bed last night, but I left this in the oven so that it would continue to dry out. Depending upon how dry this is, it'll keep in the refrigerator two to three days, four days. If you want to keep it for longer, put some in the freezer. I don't like it too dry. I don't like it crackly dry. I like it chewy dry. I got a little piece that I broke off here. See what this tastes like. Nice smoky flavor. That's the salmon jerky I remember eating as a kid. Very good. So there are some things that you can do to make protein portions for your minute meals and to make a protein snack.